Sunday Brunch with Bob and Ray. Hey, 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 hey. Brunchies. <laughs> We're back to your regularly yeah. weekly scheduled programming. We hope you have your red beers ready. I got my sippy. <laughs> it's going to be a fun episode today. You can't hear my cherry limeade. At least it's not leaking all over the table today. Yeah, I think their cup's upgraded or something. Well, and I think you get all, like, vicious with the straw. Yeah, and jam it yeah, through the so bottom. Yeah, so it goes through the bottom, and then it just starts leaking everywhere. Ugh. Styrofoam is not meant to be abused. No. So what have you been up to this week? Um, not a lot. Not a lot. Just dealing with the frickin' heat. Yeah, you're telling me, man. Yeah. Gary mowed the lawn. It looks so good. I haven't mowed my lawn this week because I just haven't wanted to be outside. Right. It's too hot. Right. And in here, it's even hotter. I know. I get my AC tomorrow. Woohoo! I know. We won't be melting. Yeah. No more melting. People really do like the lives that we're doing after we tape. Oh, really? Yeah. We've gotten a good response on those. Well, that's cool. That's And we got cool. a good response to the last episode, too. I know. I loved it. I was just telling you, I loved our last episode. It was... So sweet Let's to cool. reminisce. To, it's like cool to include all these and extra people. And was funny as fuck, I dude. know. <laughs> Even my mom was like, it kills me every time. I know. It's so funny. She's so funny. <laughs> when we, we were sitting here like deciding like, should we cut the clip down? Should we just leave it the way that it is intact? And we were just like... It just let it play. Yeah, we just got to let the whole segment play because it's just, I don't know. If you need a good laugh, go back to episode 50 and listen to the Would You Rather segment because it's so funny. It is. It is. Carice, I love Carice. we can't wait to have you guys back. Oh, my gosh. She just did like a house staging because that's what she does. She stages houses. Was it her trailer? I don't know if that's a trailer. It was small. Yeah, it's her trailer. Wow. It's her camper, like her wow. camping camper. Oh, my gosh. She staged her camper. Yeah, I saw yeah. they gutted that. Dude. And then, uh, amazing. amazing. Yeah. I wouldn't even want to take it out into the woods because I know I would just get everything disgustingly dirty. Yes, I know, but, but man, it's so a, cute. You're out fishing all day. Like, what a cozy place to come back to. Oh, I know. And she's got this style that's got this, like, country flair. But, oh, gosh. She, calls but, it, she has a name for it. It's called Pretty Tough. Pretty tough. Yeah, like it's pretty, but it's tough and rugged. Yeah. Yeah, that's her like... Aesthetic? Aesthetic is pretty tough. Yeah, it's like big city meets country. I know. Um, it's, elegant. Yeah, elegance. It's got this elegance to it, but yeah. it's still kind of country, but it's not overly country where you're like sick country. Yeah, not like deer heads and stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. just crazy cool. She does a good job. Man. She does a great job. That camper, I want to live there. I know. Textures and color. Like and even her little slide out area. Like it just looks so cozy. I know. She took like two kick ass chairs and a little table and just made it a maze balls. I know. They don't look like they belong in a camper. No. They totally do. It doesn't look like a camper. No. That's what I'm trying to get to. Yeah. I know. It looks like a city apartment. Well, and I like how they turn the bed sideways, too. Instead of having the bed long ways where you can barely walk into, like, the area where the big bed is, they yeah. turn the bed sideways and put a queen instead of a full in there so they have more room and a bigger bed. Yeah. She's it's... super smart like that. Oh, my gosh. So, shout out, Carice. Yeah, shout out. We're going <laughs> to see there. you guys in the next, like, six episodes because her and Riley are coming on for episode... 70. Oh, wow. They're going to be our last last guests of the season. This cool. Season. I can't wait to see Riley. Farley and Carice. Farley. <laughs> As we discussed oh, yeah. in the last two Poor episodes. girlfriend. I am so sorry, but you are stuck. Well, the audience knows that I always ask Bobby a question so that you guys can all get to know us better. And today I want to know, what's the most embarrassing thing you have ever done in public? Oh, my gosh. Peed my pants. In public? No, I really didn't. Um, what happened is, I really this is didn't. a I re fucked up story. Is this story. the master deflection coming back here? Yeah, kind <laughs> of, kind of. I really didn't. But um, when I was working in Denver, blah, 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 um, I went downstairs to go pee. And I thought, oh, you know, everything's taken care of down there. And I'm going to the bathroom and stuff. I'll just throw some, <laughs> I'll just throw some visine in my eyes. <laughs> so I look up. And I'm dropping my Z in my eyes, and then I feel warm running down my leg. It like somehow I peed on the um, on the edge of my pants, like on the fly of my pants, and so it <laughs> ran down my leg. 
Where were you at? I was at the wine coop in Denver. Oh, so you were like in a restaurant? Yeah. Oh, fuck. And so <laughs> I go upstairs and I tell my friend Vic that I worked with at the time. I'm like, I accidentally peed on my pants. I didn't pee them, but I peed on my pants. And he's like, hey, everybody, Bobby peed in bed. <laughs> like the whole place fucking do it. I had That's this how it always goes spot. though, right? Yeah, I was like, I'm out of here. Paid my tab and left. It was so At least you so didn't poop sad. your pants. Well, yeah. That would have been worse. Yeah. Speaking of poopy pants, Ian got home today. And he said on the flight from Houston to Denver, there was a lady sitting behind him. And the kid, she had like a little toddler. And the kid was kicking his seat the whole time. and he Kicking. Like, ENC the whole time and he said and then the kid must have crapped his pants because the whole back of the plane just smelled like diarrhea and so for like an hour they're sitting all the people on that plane are sitting in poop smell oh my god I know how awful that is awful like go to the bathroom and change the little dude little dude yeah well you don't want that stuff on their bums shh that creates, and the like, mom just sat diaper there and rash and stuff. It. I yeah, love that. it's not cool. I love well, that. she also ignored him banging on the back of the seat, and then Ian had to pull a Gary and was like, "Hey, hey, are you oh, taking yeah. care of that, or am I gonna have to?" And she's like, "Oh, so yeah, exactly. That's that's a Gary. That's a one hundred percent Gary." Yeah, his dad. Mm. Yeah, his dad does not have a tolerance for kids, man. Oh, not neither does. Oh, we were at. I thought you were talking about my Gary, because we were at a movie. Um, Harry Potter, and this kid kept kicking Gary's seat, kept kicking it all through the movie, and Gary turned around and finally just smacked the kid's legs. The parents were asleep. I know. Well, like, dude, watch your kids, man. Yeah. By the way, uh, I did see a post from um, Amber today. Amber Jones? Yeah. Hi, Amber. And she was talking about the little Toyota that's been running around downtown, like, run, like honking at scooters, just, I've seen this person i've seen this truck multiple times they just like go speeding through downtown they don't like the scooters obviously like just driving like an asshole really casper if you guys are downtown just realize it's a slower pace down here yeah you know you're gonna have to hit the stoplights there's pedestrians there's scooters be reasonable yeah you know yeah we don't need any more toyotas driving like they're god oh my god i think that's what she said she's like obviously this person feels like they are god <laughs> oh my yeah like you gotta yield to the pedestrians and stuff downtown well i'm glad it's not me because i'd give them the finger well it's busy this time of year yeah. you know like there's so much going on downtown we've got the splash pad all these breweries that have food trucks out in front of them scooters running around like even during the middle of the day there is a lot going on downtown. you gotta realize wyoming that we put 90% of our year into three months, three or four months. It's packed. It's packed. Busy as hell during the summer. Yeah. Like, All the, like everywhere. my calendar. I check my calendar daily because I'm, I have to. Yeah, it's nuts. It is nuts. Speaking of stuff going on, I wanted to know, did you go to the fair and rodeo? I haven't been out there yet. No, it's done. Oh, it's done. Did you go? No. Obviously not. No. So no feet carny, no. feet licking? No. You didn't get to check it out. I didn't get to check out <laughs> no carny. I didn't know it was done. Well, and if you guys, we hope that you guys all made it to the barn sale yesterday and Friday too. Oh my gosh, you guys. Yeah. We hope that you guys had I a chance to go out it, there. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. It's awesome. Um, and we also hope that you had a chance to go to Jumanji Nick Nights last Friday. Yes. Yeah. Cool activities. The next one coming up is the Goonies. That I am totally staying for the entire movie. Yeah, so in August, it's the Goonies. Yes. It's the movie on the big screen outside. It's and if you so guys awesome. have any like kid activities that we could do for the Goonies, that would be awesome. I was kind of thinking coins. Because that or a treasure hunt. A treasure hunt type thing where you could find coins. Yeah, or find like maybe little pieces of art or something. Yeah. Because the Casper Artist Collective does the activities for the Nick Nights. So from 5.30 to 6.30, there's an activity for the kiddos to keep them busy while parents visit and do whatever. Then from 6.30 until the movie starts, they have like a musician because we have to wait for the sun to go down before they can start playing the movie. I think that we should set up like a little treasure hunt and get coins and then the kids can buy art with their coins. Oh, that would be really fun. I love this. Easy. Yeah, like a scavenger hunt. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Yeah, and you need like five coins to buy a piece of art or yeah. something. Yeah. Well, we could have different people at different stations. Oh, you that know would what I be mean? Cool so like, too. you only get one coin per station. Yeah. Like they're kind of the gatekeeper of the coins. They have to be. They yeah. Absolutely have to be. Or um, look for a girl that's in this color. You could dress as the Hey You Guys guy. Hey, you guys. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. Slop. I'll dress up as like Chunk or something. Yeah. Or I could be the little Dana, the oh, little techie guy. I have I have <laughs> Chunk shirt. I swear to God, you I do? have Chunk shirt. Oh, yes. my God. You totally need to wear that. Yeah, that I could be, be Chunk awesome. because, you know, I'm fat. Oh, no. Just because I think you would be able to play it off really well. Yeah, you I could do the character. shuffle. <laughs> Bobby gets into character. Yeah, I could totally do Chunk. I've seen you get into character multiple times. Yeah. I wanted to throw a quick shout out to Let's's Appliance <laughs> because oh my gosh. this last week I was cleaning Ian's beer fridge and in the bottom, it's like a 30 year old fridge. And in the bottom, there's like that glass piece that holds the drawers in. Oh yeah. I busted the glass. <gasps> oh no, really? Shattered it, man. And I was like, oh no, dude, guess what? I went to Let's's, I took a picture of the serial number, took the little plastic part that the glass sits in. They found me a piece of glass for 30 bucks. Oh my gosh, I love Jason. Fit perfect, dude. I have to get in touch with that dude like today. So if you guys have like an appliance that breaks or you need like the most random part ever, hit up Let's's, man. Yeah, and if you don't, lame. Well, and if you don't, just get your new appliances there. Yeah. If you need oh, to buy a they new They service appliance. what they sell, and that's yeah. what I love about Let's. Yeah. Well, and they're local, man. Yeah, they're, they're local. Nice. All the employees there are awesome. Yeah. Um, Wyoming Plant Company has something super cool coming up on the 30th. Really? You can build your own succulent bowl or cactus bowl. Wow. Yeah, so you just show up at like 9 in the morning, or I think it's from 9 to 3, and it's on the 30th, and you can just build your own succulent bowl. Oh, they provide the cool. pot, the soil, the different plants, and it's a local company here too, so I thought that was kind of fun. Something else I think is super cool that's going on today, today, Sunday. You can go watch Goodfellas in the movie theaters on the west side of town. Oh, wow. It's back on the big screen. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. My my friend, she went to Dirty... Erin, she went to Dirty Dancing and they couldn't get the film to go. Aw. So sad. So she went and watched Black Phone. I would have really liked to see that on the big screen. Dirty Dancing, Nobody I puts know. baby in a corner. Oh. Nobody Mecca puts Lecca baby high. on a small screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody watches baby on the small screen. That's right. And the Blue Marine, oh, they have a concert coming up had in August. the time of my life. If I went to the Blue Marine, yeah, I'd have the time of my yeah. life. Yeah. So they got Kent Newber and friends coming out in August. Ian's going to be home for that one. So I'm going to be able to take Ian out there this time. Oh, that's cool. Very excited. He's going to love it. What do you got going on in Casper? I love a demolition derby. Ooh, when is that happening? Uh, that's not till September, but Ooh. guys, plan on it. It's September 10th, and I love the demolition derby. So is that at the fairgrounds, the speedway, yeah. or the event center? The fairgrounds. Oh, cool. It's at the fairgrounds. Sweet. So I love it. I love it. I love it. Like the big one at the fairgrounds. Yeah. The big like rodeo complex. Yeah, in the rodeo complex. That That's fair awesome. complex is yeah. right there. I went to a tractor pole there like five years ago. Oh, I love tractor fun. poles. Might have even been longer than five years ago. Tractor poles are probably my first. Yeah. When I went to they Iowa, I never back. been to one. But um, I used to go to Iowa for summers. And my aunt's like, we're going to a tractor pole. I'm like, lame. Until I found out what a tractor pull was. It's and I'm so like, cool. Oh my God, I fell in love. I love watching that thing that they hook to the back of the, the trucks, slide. like sink into the ground further yeah. and further as the weight goes up. And like, they're like, wow, there's yeah. smoke and fire and boom, maybe an explosion. There's a lot of like powerful trucks. Holy man. crap. And they're not really tractors. No, they're they trucks. Kind of, they're trucks. Some Pulling are trucks. Pulling a tractor. That's yeah. why it's called a tractor pull because that thing that they hook up the to sled. the sled. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a tractor of its own in some yeah. way. I want to ride the sled. I want to be the sled driver. <laughs> Do they have a driver in that thing? Yeah, because that thing's a, a mobile of its own. Oh, I didn't I guess I didn't it, realize that. You have that. to back it up, mm -hmm. so it has a driver. Oh, gotcha. I want to sit in there and be like... Like Wah. the Zamboni driver, but yeah. the sled driver. Yeah, 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 <laughs> exactly. You could do Zamboni in the sum in the winter, sled for the tractor pull in the summer. Oh, gosh, I want to go. Yeah. So Demolition Derby, September 10th, don't forget. Hey, if you like to watch stuff get wrecked. Right. That's a fun way to do it. And um, the lyrics doing Rent. Yes. You guys, yes. you got to go see Rent. Yeah. Um, oh, and the Keyhole Peep Show ladies have a show on August 14th in Douglas. 
Ooh. Go, 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 yeah. go, 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 go. It's go. on my calendar. Is it on yours? No. Put it August on. August 14th. August 14th. It's a Saturday. We could carpool. Yes. So. I'm going. I'm going after the last one. I have to go. They are so talented, ladies and gentlemen. So talented. And they're like learning all new routines. So like every time you go, it's totally different. It's a different show. Yeah. Oh my God. They're so amazing. Yeah. So go check all that stuff out. Do you have any shout outs this week? Um... Gosh, not exactly. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, Atlas Cast, uh, Atlas Cabinet Shop. He does some amazing shit out there. He's just go, go, go. Mm-hmm. I swear. I love Travis and his wife. They're just amazing. Our cabinets go in this week. Oh my gosh, you're getting them. Yeah, we I had forgot him do about our that. custom cabinets for our Lincoln House, and he sent me a picture of like the. Um, maple countertop with the sink in it it looks awesome he's got to do one more coat of paint and then oh my gosh we are going to be rocking and rolling oh my gosh it's going to be gorgeous. yeah shout out travis yeah shout out travis atlas Ca- cabinet shot uh, he'll do other things yeah, i mean trim. if you want a, tr- a table mm-hmm. if you have some wood that you would like incorporated into a kitchen table for you he can do that it's not just cabinets. No, he can match trim in your old house. Um, he does like little floating shelves. Jan just put up her little floating shelves she got from Travis, and it looks awesome. Yeah. He does little planters, cutting boards, all kinds of stuff. Oh my gosh, his cutting boards are dirt cheap. They're good though too. They're great. I they're, love buying them. I can't them as believe they're gifts. dirt cheap though. Yeah. The charcuterie boards. Ooh, charcuterie. <laughs> the cooter boards. Cooter board. <laughs> we'll be about ready for a break. I certainly am, and I'm looking forward to his, our guest because he's looking forward to us. Oh my gosh, he's been super stoked, so I can't wait to get into some stuff with him because him and I, we have this interesting relationship. Oh, yeah. We get along really, really well until we start talking politics, and we totally don't agree. We are on like pretty opposite ends of the spectrum, and it's so funny because he'll get real mad at me because he brings stuff up on the phone. He'll get mad at me, and he'll be like, I gotta let you go. So we just basically hang up the phone, say I love you, and then the next time we talk, we just pick up where we left <laughs> off, like, but not talking politics. Yeah, don't you know? talk politics with this guy. Yeah. I had a would you rather. It was like, would you rather have a um, a terrible government or no government? And I was like, I am crossing that bitch off the list. Yeah, save that for a different person. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to. <laughs> don't get him rambling, man. Well, he is a rambling man. Yeah, he is. So we'll see if we can keep that under control. But and we'll see you in a tick, in a tick, in a tick, in a tick, in a tick. Good time. Refill your drinks, brunches. We're back. This okay. guy's anxious. Man. Yeah, he is. We have a guest. God, stop ringing the doorbell and come in already. <laughs> Who do we got with us today? Who? Me. <laughs> Who's me? We got me with us. We got me. Dad. Yeah, my dad. dad. Jack. Jack. Bobby calls him Jack. I call him Dad. Yeah. You know, but I the... call him. Don't go right now because the car's coming at you really fast. <laughs> Whatever you called him, Dad. Yeah, I, I did call him Dad. I was like, "Stop, Dad, stop!" Yeah, we were out front waiting for him to get here, and this like white car white goes car. flying <laughs> ass down the street when you were about to turn right there. Yeah, and Bobby's like, "No, Dad, no, no." That's what I said. No, Dad, no. <laughs> So instead of talking brunch with you today, because we've already done that. Brunch. We're talking balls. Yeah, we're going to talk balls. I didn't know you were going to talk brunch. We're not. We're talking balls. We talked brunch with you before. Yeah, we already know about your brunch habits. Yeah. What brunch habits? You said you like your coffee last time, and you like your eggs and toast. One piece of toast. I think you're getting low on sugar or something. Something's going on. Yeah, your diabetes thing is beeping. Oh. You're beeping. Oh. It's my diabetes thing, but my blood sugar is <laughs> high. Oh, you're high? I won't die from it. What'd you have for lunch? Homemade chicken lo mein. Nice. Ooh, wow, yum. Did Sounds you add good. hot dogs to your chicken lo mein? No. Gross. <laughs> chicken. Well, that's what you said. That food truck was doing that one time. Hot oh. dogs and lo mein. Yeah. Yeah. And, hot I, dog had, and I had a piece of homemade cheesecake. Mm. Ooh, yum. That's why you're getting up there. I heard that like the smaller Rocky Mountain oysters are better than the bigger ones, which makes sense. They're younger, fresher, whatever. 
but I didn't know there was like small ones, like the size of, I don't know. Have you ever sample. seen a lamb or a piggy? I saw a guy like chew them right out of the fucking a lamb. La- a lamb's only about that big. Oh, really? Is the end of your thumb? Yep, and a piggy is just only about that big. Oh, my gosh. Do they castrate pigs, too? Yeah. Really? I helped her grandpa castrate pigs. One How time. many? I don't know, but her mother and her aunts and her grandmother were too busy being pains in the ass, so I was in the pig pen helping her grandpa. Oh, okay. So, do so you... did you fry them up right then and no. eat them? No. Oh. Do you rubber band them? How does that work? Cut them out with a razor blade. Oh, shoot. Shit. Throw them in a bucket. How do you get them to be still? Then you're... I was holding them up by their back legs. Oh, God. Their heads were hanging down. Their mamas were in the run. And every time we'd get one of a certain mama's pigs, and she'd it would freak squeal, out. and she'd freak out and start running into the railroad tie post with the pipe cross pieces. Yeah. We yeah, are traumatizing piglets. And well, stuff. and then Aunt Lynette was where she wasn't supposed to be. And the pig was after her, and Grandpa stabbed it with a pitchfork. Holy shit. So for those of you guys that don't Didn't know, my oh, grandpa... Really? Okay, that's so her, fucking nuts. My grandpa was a cattle rancher. That's what he did. Speaking cattle, of pigs, yeah. ra- he did whatever made him money. Yeah, yeah. he was a rancher. It was I mean, he was <clears> up in the butt crack of dawn, middle of the night. It's just what he did. Stabbed a goddamn pig with a porch fork. A, a porch fork? fork. <laughs> well, it was, either, fork. it was either that or her aunt would have got killed. Oh my God. Yeah, they're crazy. The mom was... The mom was pissed. So question, though, we were talking about Rocky Mountain Oysters. Yeah. And you were talking about Grandma making Rocky Mountain Oysters. Yeah, well, we cut all them piggies, and your grandfather was throwing them in a bucket. And about 11 o'clock, Grandma got them. Flowered them up. So what no, did you do? she took them up to the house. We were down in the pig pen. Yeah. And pretty soon, I heard this, the whop. And I Look. looked at Harold. He didn't say nothing. Yeah. Harold's my grandpa. A few seconds later, I heard the what? <laughs> what the fuck? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Finally, Grandma's I mad. finally <laughs> asked him what's going on. And he said, well, and she was laughing in between at the wops. My it'd grandma go, was a cool go, lady. Go, she'd, you'd hear the the wop, and then she'd laugh. And she laughed like me. What she did, oh, she cut the, cut the mum bearings off the, the balls. Because they're in a membrane. Yeah. Put them on her big butcher block cutting board and flatten them with a cast iron skillet. Ah. <laughs> so they went from being about that big to about that big. Okay, and yeah. And then she breaded them and fried, deep fried them. Yeah. And She must not have liked men very much. <laughs> but she... <laughs> she no, laughed. No, look out, Uncle, uh, Grandpa Hardy. She laughed. Harold. She laughed. No, Harold. Between every flop, she laughed. Oh my gosh! I think she was thinking about that's what she'd like to do to her. her three, she had three son-in-law. She, oh shit! She loved her. She loved her hubby, but I don't think she liked any of her sons. Oh god! She was a protective lady. What can you say? I wish I would have gotten to know those guys like that side of our family a little bit more. Grandma was funny. Yeah, she used we'd to be, crack some jokes, man. Yeah, but we'd be eating dinner. And her mom would talk about the ta- the cat the dog dragging the cow's afterbirth up on the hill to oh let it dry God. out, <laughs> so she could have a jerky snack later. Oh my! <laughs> her grandmother was pretty crazy. I ate my own innards. My grandma used to do fun things, like funny things though. Like when she passed away, my mom was telling me the story. Like whenever she'd get mad at my grandpa, and like my grandpa would come in and be like, oh, nah, 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 nah. and she'd be like, yeah, okay. And the whole time she'd be flipping him off through her back, just like, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah whatever. Like she was kind of ornery. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, I like to well, think I'm probably where, a lot like yeah, her. I think you're a chip off that old yeah. yeah. Your grandma said one time she was walking over a viaduct when she was a teenager and- Her on a Korea? Harold went oh. by and she said, hey, Red, what are you doing? And she, Flipped him off both fingers and said, F you. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know and how? She ended up marrying She's a wild one. Yeah, you know where grandma and grandpa met? On a viaduct. No, they met roller skating. No. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. We, we heard about that. They used to love to roller skate. Yeah. Nana filled us in all on that story. Yeah. They used to roller skate together. They were together for a long time. A very, very, like very long Like high school until time, they yeah. died. Yeah. Very, Pretty cool. Very. Both my grandparents were together a long time. So, Jack, did you bring three requested items today yeah i guess well let's start with your 
W-Y-R, your would you rather. Yeah, I made my dad, I did. I made him do some homework. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you guys will like this one. All okay. Right, hit us. Would you rather eat a, a french fried tarantula on a stick or sit on a manhole cover for five minutes in the middle of the summer bare ass naked? Oh, fuck. That manhole cover is going to be hot. You're going to get an waffle ass. on your bones. You know how they have that waffle thing? You're going to yeah. have waffle ass. You'll have a permanent scar. But you, would, you eat the, would you eat the deep fried tarantula? I go for the permanent scar. <laughs> I think I go for the permanent scar. There is too. no way. I've seen people like eat tarantulas. They like vacuum pack them or Dude, something. Dude, and they're all hairy and gross. You and, deep like, fry them, the hair burns off. Yeah, but their guts are all squishy on the inside. Do they taste like lobster? I have no idea. Because if they taste like lobster, I'm down. Have you ever eaten a spider? No. Have you ever eaten any bugs? Not I've that eaten I know a spider. Of. Probably I, I, why I was sleeping, I probably had. Yeah, they say you eat seven spiders a year while you so sleep. So would you rather sit on a hot manhole cover or eat the tarantula? I'd rather eat tarantula. I know how hot steel gets. Shit. And it's ten minutes? Five minutes. Oh, fuck. Yeah. My, you, you my can, dad has on, scars all over the, his body. On a day like today, you wouldn't last 30 seconds. No. I'd rather eat the tarantula. Yeah, five minutes. I mean, minutes. If, if, if two or three big guys. If, if two right, or three serious. big guys came up and grabbed you and said, here's a tarantula on a stick, eat it, or we're going to make you sit on that for five minutes, I guarantee you, you'd eat the tarantula. I think I'm going to eat the tarantula. I really don't want to eat the tarantula. Between, well, go out there. And go down and then come back up. And go out there to that manhole and take leave your sock on, take your shoe off, and put your foot on it and see how long you can stand there. Okay, we'll do foot. that during the commercial break. Whatever. Yeah. I think Bobby should make his second most embarrassing <laughs> moment in public today by sitting naked on a manhole cover. I'm not naked. <laughs> I'll bare my butt, I guess. I'll videotape it for all you. Brushies. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Would you rather be loved by all or feared by all? Loved or feared? Yeah. I'd rather be feared by everybody. I think so, too. I think that's... I like the loved by all, I but I'm already loved by all, so I'd like to switch it up. I don't, I don't know. I think my dad's definitely feared by all already. Right. When I was in junior high... Have you seen this guy? I had to go to an art show, right? And this was back before cell phones and stuff, and... Part of our grade in art was we had to go to this art show. Yeah. And I forgot to call and check in, you know, and I didn't get home till like nine o'clock. And one of my friends named Gabe drove me home because we lived way out in the boons. Like yeah. I couldn't walk home or anything or ride my bike. My dad came out the front yard, like that front screen door flew open as soon as I got out of that car. And he's like, where the fuck have you been? And my friend Gabe was like, do I need to call the police? <laughs> I was like, no, it's normal around here. Like, Oh my God, do yeah. I need to call the police? Am I going to die? Yeah, he called me later that night just to make sure I was okay. Oh God, My dad was funny. mad. Oh my God. Yeah. So Jack, I understand that. That's where Rachel got her temper oh she's got one she's got she one. got put in the youth crisis center one time <laughs> why don't you speak I was, my dirty <laughs> i was evil we had to trick her into she had gotten a car wreck uh-huh and the idiot that was suing her she didn't hurt him but he was trying to say she gave him whiplash oh, and yeah. back up. and she was in montana with her mother and she was hiding from her mother Oh shit! I was a naughty teenager. So I told her mother to get tell her, <laughs> and it, this part it wasn't a lie. This part was the lawyer wanted to talk to her on Monday about this case, and she had to be here. So me and my brother went up to get her on Saturday. Yeah, but we didn't tell her we were making her move back to Casper. And when she decided, when she found out she was moving back to Casper, she went berserk, and I. Ended up having to call the police, and they hauled her off to the youth no, crisis No, you hauled me off to the youth crisis No, they center. came and got you. I don't remember that. You went twice, and both Rachel times they came and got you. I only went once. Your <laughs> memory is failing, because I remember this quite no, clearly. No, when you got yes. busted for the cigarettes, you had to go. I no, I didn't go to youth crisis center you for went the twice. cigarettes. No, yeah. the cops came in, and they said that I couldn't be doing that shit, and they let me go. Uh -huh. And you were mad about it, because that same night. Because they let you go? No, because it was a Saturday. And I was actually supposed to drive at the Casper Speedway in the powder puff races that night. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then I got caught stealing cigarettes. <laughs> and that went down the tubes real fast. <laughs> they had her handcuffed and they, they were leading her through the store. 
and I was right behind her, at the top of my voice just ripping her ass. Well, man, I was so scared to go into Walmart for like five. You years. still smoke for Walmart. I tried to steal a carton of cigarettes. Well, it's from when they Walmart. it's when they didn't have them so secured. When I was in high school, I stole this carton of cigarettes from King Supers because they didn't have them secured. Just pulled them out yeah. of the thing, stuffed them up. My went to school, gave them all away. It did have cigarettes. I was like, I missed all that for no cigarettes. And the YCC thing, I do have to say in my own defense also. After about a day, my neighbor was the guy who ran YCC, my dad's neighbor. Oh, shit. And he was like, man, is your dad ever going to come pick you up? And I was like, I don't know. And the neighbor was like, you do not belong in here with the rest of these kids. So he actually told my dad that they were overcrowded. <laughs> so my dad oh. had to come pick me up. Oh, my God. So there, Dad. So I wasn't there. that bad. So there. I turned out okay. Oh, Look at me now. There's all cut. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at her now. Hey, you live and you learn. You know. I got a would you rather. Okay. Would you rather pay $30 for an Indian taco at the fair? Because that's what they cost. Now. Or thirty dollars for one pound of ground beef. Thirty dollars for a pound of ground beef. Yeah, you can make a lot more than one taco. Really? Well, I don't. They know only prob- they probably bread. only put two ounces on each Indian taco. So you for can make eight. For bucks. You said thirty. Yeah. Yeah, for thirty. Yeah. But you said that the Indian taco costs eighteen dollars. But they the prob- But they probably only. With the ground beef they use there, they put that soy filler in it to make oh. it soak up all the grease and it doubles the size. Yeah. Mm, but of actual ground beef, you're only getting probably two ounces. So you're getting eight Indian tacos. So I just like the dough, the fried dough. I do too, That's, the fried bread. That, yeah, the fried bread. I'd rather have fried bread than Indian taco. Well, the, the casino in Lander used to make really good Indian tacos, but they don't make them anymore. Oh, stupid lander. I like the ones in Rivers. No, nah, that hasn't got nothing to do with it being on a res. It got to do with when the pandemic shut the casino down and they've had a hell of a time opening the restaurant back mm-hmm. up. But they can't in find Riverton, you can get like fried bread and honey. Oh my God. Yeah. That shit's dope. They ish. also have that at Sherry's on Fridays. Fried bread and honey. No way. Wait, only on Fridays. No shit, really? 100% not lying. If you want fry bread and honey, go to Sherry's on Friday. They do it for breakfast. Oh, fuck. But anyway, back to our, no, our, original, our original story about the nuts. Oh, yeah. Let's oh, go. okay. Let's yeah. go back. I don't think her grandmother thought I would eat them because I'd never ate them before. Yeah. And I didn't care what they tasted like or looked like. I was not going to let that woman beat me. I was oh, going to eat her damn nuts. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Dude, a touch of horseradish? Fuck yes. She now you just dip, big balls. You just yes. dip them in, you dip them in cocktail sauce. Yeah, which is ketchup and horseradish. I'd rather mm. skip the ketchup and just go straight for the horseradish. But it, they're pretty good, and Jen won't touch them. Really? She always says more for me. Yeah. And when me and her and the neighbor went, the guy that helped me fix that, yeah. when we went to Cody, Yeah. The restaurant we went to had some. I couldn't even get him to taste part of one. Did you eat them? You should have not told him awesome. what they were. Yeah, you should You should just call them fritters. Yeah. He, he oh. knew what they were. Kobe loves them. I love them. Jacob won't touch them. So, but Braddis sells them, so you guys, go to Braddis, get you some... Balls. Balls, some <laughs> uh, Rocky Mountain Oysters, fry them up. They're so good. Get you some balls and yeah, cocktail sauce. Yeah, but do it sauce. deep. Yeah, do it deep fry. Don't fry them up in a pan. <clears throat> Do like a fry daddy or yeah, some but shit. The thing I remember the most was that her grandma used to smack them on the, on the cutting board and yeah. she'd laugh. It time. probably like got out some of her aggression. aggression yeah. You know, it was a healthy release for her. <laughs> These two are both looking at me like, what the fuck? I don't even know. Uh, so and their grandma funny. used to have these geese that would attack the kids. Yeah, and that yeah. rooster, too. And she'd chase the geese off with a broom or a shovel or whatever yeah. she'd get her hands on. But that one day, she was wearing her nightshirt when she chased them off because it was before breakfast. Yeah. A couple days later, I got up, and it's back when I smoked, and they had to get in. We stayed in the room. You had to go out of the house to go back in the side door to get in. Oh, okay. And her grandmother's out weeding the garden in that thing. Scared me to death. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, 
You know, I don't they, even they want were to, okay, like 30 next. miles. They were like 30 miles away from anybody. Yeah, next. Well, I have another would you rather. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather have an unlimited supply of chicken noodle soup or sparing amounts of any other kind of food? What do you mean, sparing? No, no, sparing. I was so. Would you amount. rather have an unlimited supply of chicken noodle soup for the rest of your life? That's all you could eat is chicken noodle yeah. soup, but you always had it, or you only had a sparing amount of other foods for the rest of your life. Yeah, but is the sparing amount one time a week or what? Yeah, you just have no, to twice ration. Twice a week, uh, three times. We'll say like a every sparing other. amount could be every day, just not as much as you want. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I'd you might have, have to be a little bit hungry you'd sometimes. You'd rather have the variety. I'd rather I'd have, have the variety. variety. Me too. Yeah, I think we're all on the same page. So I have to ask this to certain people. I have a tactic here. <laughs> would you rather have a, to- a, a horrible short-term memory or a horrible long-term memory? I have a horrible long-term memory. So that's so like Alzheimer's is like your short term memory goes. Right. I'd rather keep my short term memory. You would rather I I don't know though. Like all your most cherished memories like watching time. your kids walk for the first time or like being part of their lives when they're little or like I don't know. Like my grandpa he had Alzheimer's, my dad's dad. Yeah. And he remembered that he loved my grandma, but he couldn't always recognize her. But he knew that he loved her. Like, there was this one time he <laughs> looks at my grandma at night, and my grandpa's like, my grandma's like, I'm going to bed. And my grandpa's like... No, grandpa said he was going to bed. Tell the story. And mom said, I'll be in in a few minutes. And he said, no, you won't. You're not my wife. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, so he knew. They'd been, like, married, they'd been married over 50 years. Yeah, but, but he, not you. Nope. Well, I took him for a ride. He wanted to go up to Sinks Canyon one day. Oh, my gosh, and we're driving up the road, and he says, I wish I could find my wife. And I thought, I'm not going to say she's at home. I'm going to try a different tack. And I said, what's your wife look like? And he described my mother when I was about 10 years old. Oh, okay. And then I said, you got any kids? <laughs> and then he, he said, yeah. He said, I've got seven of them. And he told me about little Harvey he was the first one he only lived like four days and then he said I have Jack and this is what gets me is because he says Jack has a welding business but he said I was about 10 years old oh <laughs> and then he had Tim and Tim ran heavy equipment Tim's two years younger than me and he told me about our approximate ages, but he said Tim runs heavy equipment in a gold mine in Nevada, which is what Tim did. Snap. And he said Andy works up at the school, and Andy's five years younger than me, Tom's six years younger than me, and the twins are eight years younger than me. But he knew every one of us, knew what order we were born in, but he was looking for us when Mom was about, she was 21 when I was born, so when she was 32 or 33. He was like stuck in a time zone. He wasn't yeah. looking for at looking for a seventy year old woman. Oh wow. Yeah, so he didn't recognize you. Like oh, I remember wow. when he first started coming down with it and we were like, something's not quite right. Cause I loved my grandpa, adored him. Like my yeah. favorite parts of the summer were going to hang out with grandpa. I gotta go to the dump, I gotta go shoot guns, I gotta ride in the truck and shift and do all <laughs> kinds of cool stuff with him. And it was weird because He's like, who are you? And I'm like, I'm Jack's daughter, Rachel. And he's like, oh, oh, you know what I mean? Like, he knew once you would say it to him. But then as time progressed, it just was like, he did not figure out who you were. So, I don't know. I kind of wish I could keep my long-term memory. Because at least you keep those, like, precious moments. He had that. I mean, he. Yeah. Yeah, the long-term, but the (laughs) Mm -hmm. short-term. Like I said, he kept looking. We kept telling him. Mom's at the house. Mom's at the house. And he'd say she wasn't. And in the evenings, he'd want to go home. So we finally got to where we were giving him a ride. He kept back the, to the house. Yeah. You'd so my dad, would, he'd say, I need to get to out of this place because he couldn't recognize the inside of the house. So he'd go to his room, <sighs> grab a pillowcase, put rocks and shit no, in it. No, it was a little bag, and he kept it by the front door, and it had rocks in it. <laughs> Three rocks, about this big. Oh, wow. But he'd want to go, go home, and you'd say, all right, I'll take you home. And he'd go get in the truck, and we go down the end of Main Street, come back. 
and he'd say, my wife's parents used to live down that street, which was 9th Street. Yeah. And they lived one house in on Lincoln, which was a block off Main. And we get down by where Grandpa's house and the motel and all that was in this brick building. And Dad would say, I was born in that brick building. Wow. He could recognize the outsides, but not the insides. But oh, because the insides changed. You know, and he'd tell me about Mike's bar, or then I'd I've go. I've been up, to Mike's bar. <laughs> you I have? got fucking wasted. <laughs> <laughs> I got wasted. <laughs> I took my own drink in, and they're like, "What's in there?" I'm like, "Water." <laughs> got fucked up. <laughs> not Mike's and Lander. Yeah, in Lander. Yeah, but they call it the Gannett Grill and the Lander Bar now. Yeah. Well, yeah. it was the Lander Bar then, but every the guy that owned its name was Mike Turbovich. Yeah. So Dad and everybody called it Mike's because oh, he was their age. I'd go up by the house, and as soon as we get to where he could see the house, he'd say, "I live there." Pull in, he'd get his little bag out. We'd go in the house, and he'd either go to bed and be happy, or ten minutes later, he wanted to go home again. Oh wow. Yeah, like he'd get inside and he couldn't recognize it. Yeah. Did you guys ever figure out what the rocks were about? Didn't do any good to ask. Yeah. Well, I'm just curious, like, why rocks of all things? <laughs> like, uh, yeah, but at least you had something to connect yeah. to. Yeah. Well, there was a place up in Six Canyon. When you first go up there, it's on the left side as you're headed up, right after you go in the canyon, and it's a picnic area in the state mm-hmm. park now. Every time I went fishing with him up there, on the way out, we'd stop, he'd go over to the river, get out on this one rock, and look in the water, because right after he got out of the army after world war ii he dropped a silver dollar in there oh wow well by that by then that silver dollar was probably in riverton (laughs) yeah but he'd still get out and look and when i took him up that day after we were coming back down he wanted to go over there so we went over there and he went over but he wasn't steady enough he knew he couldn't get on the rock and he says can you go out on that rock and see if you can see a silver dollar that's so strange. I've never heard the silver I dollar got story. A silver dollar. I think Andy has it. You totally should have got a silver dollar and been like, "Oh my oh god, my gosh, it's look right what there." I found. Yeah. I didn't mm-hmm. I didn't have any silver dollars. I'm just, I would have got one yeah. because you know that's going to happen again. That's crazy. It's Alzheimer's is a weird disease. It is. It is. So well, what would you that? do, Dad? Would you yeah. rather do long term or short term? Long term. At least I would know something. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Okay, are we ready for some trivia? It's tri- 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 trivia time. What? And Jack's going to bring his own trivia. Yeah. Bobby out. Where's he going? He's going out to smoke so while we do trivia. Go stand on that manhole cover with a bare foot. Yeah, Bobby, oh, go st- tape it. I want to see you do it. <laughs> I'll do it later. Today we have animal trivia. You good at animal trivia? Yeah. Okay, here we go. How many toes does a guinea pig have? You should have 20 toes. What does the bat use to navigate and locate its prey? Sonar. What determines the gender of baby sea turtles? Sand. What are the only birds known to fly backwards? An albatross. How long can a bald eagle live? 60 years, I think. You're done. And Bobby's still smoking. All right, Bobby's back in the studio, and he's ready for trivia. Trivia, trivia, trivia. Do you know a lot about animals? Uh, I don't, I've met some. Okay. All right, you ready? Yeah. How many toes does a guinea pig have? Four. What does the bat use to navigate and locate its prey? Um, 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 radar. What determines the gender of baby sea turtles? Probably temperature. What are the only birds known to fly backwards? A hummingbird. How long can a bald eagle live? 20 years, I would guess. All right, that's it. Okay. You're done. All right, Dad, you ready? You ready for the answers? Yep. Pay attention. So how many toes does a guinea pig have? My dad said 20. Bobby said four. Well, I thought like on one foot, yeah. Total. The answer is actually 14. They have four toes in the front on yeah. each paw and yeah. three toes in the back on each paw. Oh. So they have 14. They don't count dew claws on them? No. Sorry, dude. You wouldn't even get there with the dew claws. I didn't know it was like a total thing. So. Yeah, but if you look at a dog. But even if it was total, yeah. you would have had 16. A dog has 
20 toes. Right. But the dew claws are counted as a thumb. Yeah. And the one on their back legs counted as a big toe. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. So what does the bat use to navigate sonar, and locate fuck. its prey? My dad said sonar. Bobby said a form of radar. It's actually echolocation. That's oh. what sonar does. Well, yeah, that's what radar does, too. It says echolocation. Okay. It's the well, same man. thing. I'll have to look that up to see if it's any of the same you thing because that's how it works. Sonar. I mean, so radar sends out a signal, it hits something, and comes back. and comes back. So yeah. what's sonar? Same sonar, thing. same thing. Why but do they call it radar and sonar? Why don't they just call it echolocation? It's different sonar, wavelengths. And I think sonar is more for underwater stuff, and radar is more for above the water. Yeah. So Bobby would have been closer. <laughs> Possibly. What determines the gender of baby sea turtles? My dad said the sand. Bobby said the temperature. It is actually the temperature. Yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. Mm. Any sea turtle born under 87 degrees is a male. Any sea turtle born over like 90 degrees, like in the sand, yeah. is a female. Oh, So okay. the higher temperatures are female, lower <laughs> temperatures are males. Bobby gets one, yeah. Bobby get a point. <coughs> um, what are the only birds known to fly backwards? My dad said albatross. Bobby said hummingbird. The answer is actually a hummingbird. So, Bobby, you're up too. How long can a bald eagle live? My dad said 60 years. Bobby said 20 years. The answer is actually 30 years. Oh, wow. 30 years is a long time for a bird. Yeah, it is. That's a super long time. So, Bobby wins. Yay. Sorry, Jack. Hey, but my tiebreaker, what color is a polar bear's skin? Black. True. Really? Yeah, it's black. I would have thought pink. Nope, it's black. Black. Wow. And its hair acts like fiber optics. It's hollow. And it lets the light in through the hairs. And because wow. the black, the black the skin black absorbs skin the heat. Keeps them from freezing in the really cold temperatures. Oh wow. Yeah. Dad, what's your trivia question? I asked my dad to bring yeah. us a stumper to stump me and Bob, and we want to know what is your trivia question I've for the day. I've been trying to find it. I had it on here and I lost it. Okay, I got another one. What do you call a group of ravens? A murder. Of ravens or raisins? Ravens. Ravens. A murder. <laughs> and it's crows called, too. A murder. Of I crows saw a too. murder. I saw a murder just the other day. Yeah, we got crows like, and wow. ravens up yeah. in this biatch. by my house. I was like, wow, I haven't seen that many crows together in a long time. We have a bunch of crows that live out here. Really? Yeah, in front of my shop and bats. What shoes originally mm. created for men but more worn by women? Probably a flip flop. I would say a Birkenstock. Nope, it's heels. Oh, for men? Why were men wearing heels? Because it's what they did back when they invented them, back in the Roman and Greek days. God, I feel oh. like that should be a thing oh. today. <laughs> like like French, yeah, I can understand that. That way the man seemed taller. You know, like the, the where they now, like powdered themselves. I got it. You know what? The Mandan Indians, have you heard of them? Get close to your mic, Dad. Have you heard of the Mandan Indians? No. They're a tribe that's out of Montana and North Dakota. They yeah. lived along the Missouri River. They used to play a lacrosse type game. Yeah, yeah. In the winter, on yeah. the ice. They wore high heels? No. Oh. Ice skates? Nope. They played it completely naked. Sure is cold out here. <laughs> Don't worry, those will come back out later. <laughs> Damn, now I can't remember the other part that would have made it an either or. My dad's losing his damn mind. Yeah, I am. <laughs> So the Mormons used to use push carts from St. Joe, Missouri to Salt Lake. Yeah. So they went through Wyoming about this time of year. Poor yeah. people. And the clothes they wore were wool. Oh, God. Jeez. So would you rather push a push cart across the desert of Wyoming in July or Fuck. play lacrosse on the Missouri River naked in January? Naked, not Mormon. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, given what we're doing in the studio, melting to yeah, death, we're melting. I would say naked on the Missouri. Ice sounds awesome, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, those it little ice good. on your back. And yeah. Shit. Well, you know, you you know Mark Lewis. <laughs> yeah. I think so. He never wear Jerry's yeah, brother. Okay. He doesn't wear shoes unless he has to. Mark and Megan, you guys are kindred spirits. Yeah. And Mark never wore shoes in the wintertime. He only wore them when he had to. 
Wow. And I've seen him once, and his calluses are about that thick. Jesus. It's about a half an inch. About an, a half an inch. Wow. Yeah. Gross. And Jerry said he the only reason he wore shoes that works because they made him. Oh, wow. The shoes, they make me fall down. <laughs> <laughs> They're so heavy. <laughs> They're so heavy. <laughs> Well, okay. are we going to bitch or are we positive predictioning today, Dad? Do you want to bitch about what? Anything. Anything. Life. Everything's, everything's a bitch. Everything's a bitch. Everything's a bitch. I want to talk to your manager. I'm bitching <laughs> about the price of fucking gas, man. Still. I know. Don't you think it's I, funny I mean, how they're like, yeah, we brought, we brought gas prices down and we're putting more money in your pocket. We're still paying $5 a gallon. Yeah, and everything's <laughs> up 10%. Fuck that, Yeah, man. Some things are up more than 10%. Yeah, but I can attest. And my personal opinion on that is it's both parties, not just one. Yeah, but I'm paying that 8 not, bucks for a fucking pound of hamburger. Fuck that. that. I have a bitch. Stranger danger. Yeah, tell us your stranger <laughs> danger story. My dad the other day was telling me about stranger danger when he was a kid. So he grew up in Lander. Any of you that are from Wyoming, you know that Lander is a small community. He's like five years old. And he told me, because we were talking about the way people raise their kids nowadays. Yes. And how they're all inside. They're all playing video games, watching their iPads, watching TV. And because everybody's afraid they're going to get kidnapped. Right. You know, my dad was telling me the story about when he was like five years old wandering around Lander all by himself. The drugstore on the corner of 3rd and Main, uh -huh. and I don't remember why I was going up there. I probably had a nickel and I was going to buy some candy or something. Probably. You could or buy a pop. five pieces of bubble gum with <laughs> that nickel. No, with that day. with that nickel, you could have bought a quarter would half fill it halfway up. When uh, I was or a, a quarter kid, would fill it. A nickel would fill it about halfway. Oh, when I was wow. a kid, they still had the penny candy store. You yeah. could get a Swedish fish for a penny. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was awesome. Remember, at the time, I just had I'd been told, don't talk to strangers. Yeah. And this guy tried to ask me if I wanted a ride, so I ran into the drugstore, and the guy that owned the drugstore called mom or dad, and they came and got me. Oh, wow. Did the guy say, hey, little Jackie, would no. you like a... Would you like a candy bar? No, he just said, <laughs> do you want a ride? Oh, wow. And I probably knew him, but somebody had just yeah. taught me Would about you like a ride out to Sinks Canyon? Well, you'll never <laughs> be found again. And now I to think the fish I, hatchery where the trout will just eat, eat you. you. Yeah, I shit. think it was the guy that lived across the alley behind Mom and Dad did. I don't remember what his name was, but he only had one arm because he got it chopped off. By a combine oh when he was God. young, man, when he was a young man. Wow! And I think that's who it was, but I never could re I couldn't really see him that well. Yeah. But they told me, somebody told me, do not get rides with strangers. And if I'd have known him, I'd have probably jumped. In. If I'd have recognized yeah, him, yeah, I probably would have jumped in with him. One day when I was coming home from high school, somebody <laughs> pulled up. I was by myself. Some guy pulled up and said, "Do you want to ride?" And I'm like, "Hell no!" And I ran. Could you imagine being I a ran. five year old though? Yeah, shit. Like, my bitch is with stranger danger. Teach your kids this stuff, guys. Yeah. Like, teach your kids the code words and the things that make it safer for them to know that but they should be getting need in a car. Stranger danger. When I was a kid, we'd taken run all over town. Our friends would live across town. Yeah. We used to go well, up. You would know uh, what was wrong. But you we would know used, something was different. But we used to go up on the hill. Above the kids the golf spent course. more time outside, and kids knew their communities better yeah. back in the day. Yeah, you knew your community. When we would go to Lander for the summers, we rode our bicycle literally over the whole town. Me and yeah. my cousins did. We stayed in a group. We rode our bicycles to the pool, to the Penny Candy Store. We rode up Mortimer Lane to Sinks Canyon on our fucking bicycles. Yeah. Nobody ever bugged us. And we like, used to ride up Mortimer Lane. We used to take our 22s, tie a piece of sash cord on them to make a sling, and we'd go out to Lions Valley in January and go rabbit hunting. Oh, wow. And nobody gave us a second look. Yeah. And it's not a small amount of, like, area they're right. covering. It's right. about five, six miles between mom and dad's house and where we'd go hunting it was probably even more than that wow but we'd ride our bikes out there and usually about the time if the sun was going down and we weren't home either one of my friend's dads or dad would come and get us and we'd be getting close to town but they figured it was cold and 
Yeah. One of my friends pissed his dad off up on Limestone when we went up to look at the elk one day. Yeah. So his dad threw him out of the car in January, and it's 20 miles from there to Lander. Holy fuck. You know what my dad did to me once? I used to have this doll, this Zoe doll, like Elmo and Zoe. Yeah. It's like a big one. And I don't remember what we were doing. We were going to Denver, but I was being like a pill in the car. He grabbed that doll and threw it out <laughs> the sunroof, dude. Like, I was Never so, to be seen I was again. So I upset. didn't, I was like, no, no, no. I didn't did. have, I didn't have a sunroof then. Just you threw it out the window there. or something. Like, I remember it going out the window. You sure it wasn't like, your mom? No, it was you. Shit. <laughs> It was well, totally I'm, you. <laughs> I think she's hallucinating. Well, don't ride with a stuffed one. animal with Jack. That's I think our moral it, of this story. You know what, though? Ian did the same thing to the boys because he told the boys we were on like a four-hour trip, and he's like, if you guys are good, once we get to this place, I'll give you these six slits. Uh -huh. So he had two sleeves of six slits, and we were like 20 miles away from wherever we were getting to go. The boys were getting antsy. They started being crazy, so Ian opened up the six slits, <clears throat> just started dumping them out the window, and they oh. were like, what the Fudge. Like, I think that teaches kids lessons. Yeah. Oh, you know? one, there is one night when the, after I got divorced, when I got my Thunderbird, Megan was in the front seat. Sarah and Rachel were in the back seat. They had a space between them, and all they did was bicker. Well, by the time we got to Independence Rock, I'd had enough. No, it was Hudson. No. You made us get out and walk at Hudson. No, no, no. This had nothing to do with walking. This oh, was in the dark. Time. Different it time. was in the middle of January. <laughs> so I told Megan... I adjusted the heat, so all the heat was up front, coming out the vents and everything. I opened the window and drove from Muddy Gap, or from Independence Rock, to Lander with that moonroof and the windows open. Oh, shit. That and those two froze their asses off. Yeah. Megan and me were warm, but... Yeah. You know what, though? My dad was pretty cool, because when he did have that sunroof, he used to have a set of goggles in the car. Yeah, and you could pop your head Yeah, out. he'd let us pop the our head out the sunroof when we were on the highway <laughs> Shit. i do have to say do you have a shout out dad oil city brewing oh. oh cool what's going on at oil city why you like it that's where we go neighbors own it he makes good beer and makes homemade root beer and homemade uh, cream soda oh my gosh yeah. and you know the wing truck the old army looking yeah the ice yeah, cream yeah. yeah they got an, a second setup that put up it's inside the wing inside oh, really? the brewery really that stays in there so wow cool. they have the wings and the ice cream god that ice cream and mm. it's kid friendly so the kids can go and play basketball and they have cornhole and they have bands and yeah all right, so shout out to Oil City Brew. Shout out, man. I went there the other day and woke up with a screaming headache. Yeah, we did. We, just <laughs> we did. But brunchies, you guys know that we are here every single ten, every Sunday. single Sunday at ten o'clock in the morning with a brand new episode <clears throat> for you. Tune into all the platforms at Sunday Brunch with Bob and Ray. Now buy some merch, people. We, we need, need to need sell merch. Merch yeah. purchases. Someone buy a T-shirt. Buy anything, please. I hope that you guys all have a wonderful week. And in the meantime, catch up on any episodes you've missed. Meet you at the farm. We'll see you at the farm, guys. We'll see you guys at the Bloomery Farm yeah. in August, man. Yeah. It's still a couple weeks away, but yeah. get We're your tickets. we forward to it. Get, get your, your tickets. What is it? The Bloomery Farm. What's that? I'll buy a ticket for you, and you can come out with me and Ian. So you guys have a wonderful week, and we will see you guys next Sunday at 10 in the morning. morning. Bye, Bob. Bye, Ray. Bye, Dad. Bye, Rach. Bye, Bert. Bye, Mom. You gotta tell him bye. <laughs> bye. Geez. No, you gotta tell him bye. Tell oh, 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 bye, Jack. <laughs> All right. Bye, Bunchies. Bye, bye Bunchies. bunchies. <laughs> Gets them every time. What's the Bunchie? your headphones back on wait a minute what do you want me to put them back on for because we're gonna do trivia oh. what kind of trivia will you two get your coughing under control yeah i'm just dry i'm all of a sudden you want water Well, we 
guys, I am losing it. This heat is getting to yeah. me. Thank you for tuning in to Sunday Brunch with Bob and Ray.